It's smelling so good. Amma, how long will it take to prepare the paisam? Just a few minutes, children. Okay, Amma. Chiru, catch! Uh, uh. Amma! Ah, run! Amma! Amma! Save, save, us! Save, save us! Save us! Save us! Amma! The honey bees have attacked us! They will be us! Honey bees! Hmm. Now see the magic of these campers. Huh? Ah. Yay! The, the honeybees are gone. That's okay. But tell me one thing. Who invited the honeybees here? Hmm. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> What an aroma! It looks like the honeybees came here to taste this delicious paisam. Why would the honeybees come here due to the smell of the paisam? Why? If a bear can come smelling the paisam, why can't honeybees? Am I right, Amma? Remember that story? Oh, which story was that, Amma? Okay, so you are acting smart with me. If you want to listen to the story, just tell me. Yay! Yay! It's, it's story time, time with Sudama! Paisam for a bear. The sweetest bananas and juiciest mangoes in the village came from Mohan's garden. The harvest has been very good this spring, Basanti. This time, we can get a huge profit by selling them in the big market of Vijayanagar. What a delightful smell. Give me two dozen. Uh, give, me one give me one dozen, give me one dozen, dozen bananas. Give me one bananas. kg. Give me two kg. Someone bought one kg of mangoes. Someone bought two. And some bought bananas. And then there was such an aroma that even Mohan could not stop himself. It's mine! What's in it, brother? Buy some. So, is it eatable? Can you give me a little? Huh. If I give it to you, then what would I eat? In return for six bananas and mangoes, Mohan took the paisam from the man. Do you have more? If you want more, why don't you cook it at home? What's the recipe? Huh? Oh. Huh? After taking a lot of mangoes and bananas from Mohan, <laughs> the man shared the recipe for paisan. Basanti! Huh? Basanti! Oh, Basanti! Huh? Why are you so happy? It looks like you have made a very good profit. Forget the profit. Today, I have severed something that has lifted my spirits, made my heart happy, and my soul truly satisfied. Wait, let me show you. Here I put the sugar, a little ghee, huh? and some dry fruits. And the paisam is ready. But the pot is empty. But my mind is not empty, Basanti. I have brought all the ingredients to prepare the paisam. Just take these and start preparing. <laughs> but we don't have any wood. I'll bring it quickly. Ah! 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 Ah!
Oh, a bear! Save me! Where did this bear come from? I made a mistake! Spare me! Not today, Mr. Bear, because today is my turn to eat. Will you eat me? No, 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 Mr. Bear. I was talking about the bison. This is entirely my fault. If I had not thought about eating bison and not come to the jungle to gather wood, I wouldn't have slept. The wood wouldn't have fallen on you. It seems like my dream of having bison will remain just a dream. <laughs> bison? What's this bison? Bison? The taste of bison? Ah! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. The aroma of bison? Wow! Ah. If you haven't eaten bison yet, then you haven't eaten anything good. <laughs> and it turned out the talking bear was also fond of eating. I also want to eat bison. Will you feed me too? But I'll need huh? some more wood for that. You only concentrate on the bison. Hundred, five hundred logs. I'll bring you as much wood as you want. Okay, okay, okay. Five hundred logs would be enough. I can use them for the entire month. So I will. Oh, 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 oh. What? A bear! People invite their friends and relatives. And you invited a bear? Oh, no. Poor Basanti. What could she do? She started making paisam for the guest. Bison was ready. Now, they were waiting for the guest. I can smell the aroma from here and I can't resist. What say, Vasanti? Should we taste a little bit? Uh, why not? But only a little bit. As soon as the lid was lifted, the aroma of the bison spread. Wow. And it became difficult for both of them to wait. Uh. Uh. They began uh -huh. tasting with a spoon. Then moved on to a bowl. And then to a plate. And eventually, they couldn't resist and started eating directly from the bison pot. <laughs> oh no, we ate all the bison. What should we do now? Wondering how the bear would ever know the taste of bison, they decided to mix the leftover rice with adulterated milk. Whatever it turned out to be, it was now ready. Both of them thought that if they wouldn't be home, how could it possibly matter whether the bear liked it or not? Bison. Driven by the temptation of bison, the poor bear arrived hungry and immediately began to eat. Huh? But how much could he possibly relish the bison? Made with the adulterated milk and a few grains of rice and without any dry fruits. <laughs> Where will you escape? I will not leave you. <laughs> After all the praise for Paisam, what have you fed me? The day I'll find you, I'll teach you a lesson. 
It's not Mr. Bell. Huh? It's our own Goofy. Yes. So, what did you learn from the story? Amma, one should not break one's promise like Mohan. Even if we haven't made a promise. But we will definitely feed Mr. Bear some paisam. We will leave the paisam out for Mr. Bear. Even if Mr. Bear doesn't come, the honeybees will surely come to enjoy the paisam. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, children. Let's yes, go. Let's go. Yay. 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 Patnu hi patnu me tap se tap ke chakhe bahi jo gap se gap ke sabut sa sacha sa kisa sunane. Aayi hu me khata me tha jagane. बच्ची मैं हूँ दादी नानी चुलबुल से बच्ची मैं हूँ दादी नानी कस कहानी कर कस कहानी मैं हूँ वही करे खुशबू पुरानी झुटकी से बातों में बड़का सच बोलूँगी छोटा बन आऊँगी एक खिड़की खोलूँगी उंगली पकड़ के संग संग चलूँगी खूब अंधेर में टिंग टिंग चलू 